welcome to Prism Science Academy classes and we are about to start the force and laws of motion chapter for class 9 and for this our first topic will be force and what are the effects of force. Okay, in earlier classes uh, or in the previous classes we have studied that force is the push or pull of an object. So we have studied this the push or pull of an object is called force. Okay. But this is not actually the correct definition. And before we come on to the correct definition of the force, let's try to study the different uh, the effects of the force. What are the effects of the force? So whenever we apply a force on an object, what could happen to the object? Now, this force, this can, first of all, if an object is stationary, it can move stationary objects. So these are the effects of force we are studying so that we can arrive on the correct definition of the force. So it can move uh, stationary object. That, that, that's the first effect of the force. And the second effect of the force, it can, if an object is, so if an object is stationary, let's say this object is stationary and if we apply a force in this direction, this object starts moving. And if an object is moving, if an apply a force in the opposite direction, it, we, we can stop the object. So we can stop the moving object. And what could be the third effect of the force? The first two are can move a stationary object. We can stop a moving object. We can change the speed of an object. So how we can change the speed of an object? Let's say the object is moving, so either we can increase the speed of an object by applying more force or we can decrease the speed of the object by applying the force in the opposite direction. So the third one is to change the speed of the object and we can also change the direction of the force, uh, sorry, we can change the direction of a moving body, not the force, but when we apply a force, we can change the direction of a uh, moving body and very good example for this would be when we hit a ball with a bat let's say this is the bat when we hit the ball with the bat the ball is coming from this direction hitting the ball with the bat means we are applying the force and now the ball goes in the opposite direction so this in this way we can change the direction of a moving body with the help of the force or by applying the force or we can also change the shape of a body let's say we apply a force on a plastic bottle we can crumble the plastic bottle so it changes the shape of the body so earlier we used to say that the force is the push or pull of an object but now we have studied that force can move a stationary object, it can stop the moving object, it can change the speed, it can change the direction, it can change the speed of a body. So it's not just the push or pull of an object. So now our, our, our definition for the force changes and now we are going to define the force. What, what would be the definition of the force? Now force is something or force let's say is a physical quantity and because it has both magnitude and direction so it will be a vector quantity the force is something which can physical quantity or which can it's not necessary that it will change but it can change or it can move let's say the first one was move a stationary object So the force is a physical quantity 
which can move a stationary object or it can stop a moving object or let's say it can make moving object stationary or it can change so it was supposed to change the speed direction shape or size or moving body so now we have arrived at this definition instead of just push and pull now we can see that force is a physical quantity which can move a stationary object which can make moving objects stationary or change speed direction shape or size of the moving body so this is the correct definition instead of saying that it just near the pull push or pull of an object now let's try to solve one of the uh, question that's mentioned regarding the force and the question is